I can't remember what I'm supposed to say. It doesn't matter. Kathy, listen to me. Whatever you say, whatever you do will seem normal. I mean, there is no normal right now. I know they're going to find out that we were there, Helene May. I know they will. No, they won't. Not unless we tell them. Kathy, you must pull yourself together. Now, you've got strength. Use it. Oh, it's so hard. I know it is. Don't you think it is for me, too? He was my son. Oh, Lily, May, we've got to tell them. No. No, why? What could you possibly gain by it? Huh? Pity? Poor little Kathy Rush. Married to a man who tried to kill her. My God, Kathy. He's dead. Joshua can't hurt you anymore. Look. Look. What harm can it do to let him die with some dignity? I don't want people to think my son was a killer. I'm sorry, uh, the television reporter's downstairs. Oh, well, I can't. Oh, shh. Of course you can't. She can't talk to reporters. You'll stay here. I'll do it. We'd like to set up out front if that's okay. I'm Mrs. Clements, Joshua's mother. Pleased to meet you. I'm terribly sorry. Is Mrs. Rush available? No, I'm afraid not. We'd really like to interview her, I too. I'm afraid Mrs. Rush is in no condition to speak to anyone right now. I understand. This won't take long. I'm just going to ask you a few questions about your son. All right. The tragic death last night of television evangelist Joshua Rush came as a shock to his family. And you don't think he took his own life? No. Why? Because he knew that was wrong. He was a man of... He was a man of principle, a religious man. He knew he was loved by many is loved by many. I know he did not take his own life. What do you think happened to him? I don't know. Hi. Hi. What difference does it make? My son is gone. I, I, I just, I don't want to talk about it right now, okay? Nothing else seems important. Thank you, Mrs. Clements. This is Linda Seneff reporting for KBGS. We now continue with our regular... Was I all right? Did I say the right things? You were perfect. So hard to think when they point that microphone at you. I'm so sorry. Why does she insist on saying those things about him? She... She talks about him like he was some kind of a saint. It really doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter to me, Karen. Val, I understand how... No, you... Karen, you don't understand. I don't... Where are the carrots? I... I've got the carrots in front of me. Here they are. Here they are. You know how I, I should feel. I mean, I should feel sorry, I should feel lost, but I just don't care. It's all right to feel... It is not all right! Would you stop being so understanding? I can't remember if I gave them their vitamins today or not. Karen, he was my brother. Now, why didn't I...
That Sumner bought him. Well, you knew that. What else? Any new names? If you want me to help you, you have to tell me everything you know. I just did. Okay. Gary. Look. You gotta keep me informed, so let me know if you find out anything more. Won't you? Hmm? Keep me informed. Yeah. Like it, huh? <laughs> Come here. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Karen. Come here. Yeah. I'm sorry that I... I mean, I didn't mean to... Forget it. Oh, you like this. You like this. I worry so about how they're going to grow up. I mean, under different circumstances, Joshua might have gone on to... What if I'm not a good mother and Val? What? You are a good mother. But you're never going to stop worrying about your kids. That's just part of being a parent. Yeah. Hi. 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 Hey there. How are they doing? They're doing fine. They're always doing fine. I, I'm just glad they don't know what's going on. Listen, I, uh, I can't stay. I just came by to... Well, I'm glad that you did, Gary. Oh, no, no, it's... Can you... I'll... Go. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'll finish up. Mommy, be right back. 